What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm back again with my 8 quart Ninja Foodie XL. Today we're going to make some air fryer fried chicken. I haven't made fried chicken in the air fryer in a while. So I figured today is the day. So I got three thighs and three legs. I let this uh, marinate for about four hours. I just used this. I used some, I spritzed it with my oil sprayer and I uh, put some avocado oil on there. And then I just put this Tony's Creole seasoning, no salt. And that's it. And now I'm going to flour it with this chicken fry mix, New Orleans style, hot and spicy. So that's the flour I'm going to use. So we'll just egg wash it and flour it. And guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're notified of my next videos or my YouTube live giveaways. You know the drill. Man, Creole seasoning always makes me sneeze. This is what it looks like. We're going to put this in the Ziploc. All right, simply grab your piece of chicken, whatever piece you got. Throw it in the egg wash. Get it good. Shake off the excess. Like so. And just throw it in the bag. I like to do two pieces at a time. Go ahead and give it a good shake. You get the point. So we're just going to do four pieces today just for this demonstration and my dinner. And I forgot to mention, by the way, to the Tony's uh, no salt seasoning, I did add a little uh, bit of pink salt to it just in case. Because I know if I did the regular Tony seasoning, it would have just been too much, too much, it would have tasted too salty to me. I, I, I just know it. And, and if... For those who've never tasted Tony seasoning, it's equivalent to slap your mama. It's 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 a little less saltier than the regular Tony's is a little less saltier than regular slap your mama. If you wanted to know, I know a lot of you've tried that. So anyway, we're going to hit it with some oil, avocado oil or um, olive oil would be fine. I got my Evo oil spray in the house. You're just gonna spray both sides till you don't see any. Till, till it's wet, just put it like this, because it's not white flour. I would say till you don't see any white anymore, but it's not white. <laughs> so till it looks wet in this particular case. <laughs> and you're going to do that to the other side. So both sides are sprayed with oil. And so for this machine, I'm going to use this one time, I'm going to use the crisper basket it came with. Normally I would put this on a rack, but for you guys, I'm just going to put it in this crisper basket and that's what the manual recommends. You could also use the rack that it comes with. You can foil the rack and put some holes in it so the oil can drain or you could just leave it, um, you know, the rack as is, but you know, you'll, you'll have some lines in your chicken. I'm sure most of you won't mind that, um, but yeah, nevertheless. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken in. Hopefully all the pieces will fit. Cause like I said, I don't usually make my chicken in this basket thingy in the foodie. I usually use the rack, but kind of want to, oh, perfect. I think it will be able to fit everything. So yeah, four pieces was just enough. Let's move this over. Of course, it will shrink after a while. All right, so that'll work. Cool. You guys couldn't see it, but that's what it looks like. All right, we're going to open up the Ninja Foodie, like so. And we're just going to place this right in there. Just like that. Boom. Close it back. Let's get it on, guys. So I want it on air fry, which it already is on there. I'm going to put it up to 400. <coughs> And I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do 26 minutes and I'm going to flip it at 12 minutes. I think that'll work. All right, so I'm going to hit start. And I'll be back at 12 minutes. 
Got my tongue out, guys. We're approaching 14 minutes. Smelling good. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Look at that, guys. Wow. Let me give y'all a better look. Nice. Ooh, I can smell the seasonings. All right, I'm gonna check it at six minutes. I have a feeling it's gonna be done, guys. It's smelling, it's smelling done. Oh boy, yeah. Look at that. That's 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And really, I could have lowered the temp. This is how much grease is left. Oh, let me take that out so you can see. And this is the major difference with making chicken in the air fryer and the deep fryer. This is all I have to clean up. And this will be like a little bit of paper towels, wiping it and then just washing it. Easy peasy. Check out my new beer glass, y'all. It's pink like. Shout out to Booger 500 US and Poppy Eats. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. It's so one of them nights, y'all. We're having beer and chicken for dinner. <laughs> I'm only going to eat two pieces, though. But this could be you. You know it. Anywho, let's take a sip before we begin. You got it? I'll leave a link in the description to this glass so you can check it out. I thought it was pimp black, so I got it. Let's try a drumstick first, guys. Let's analyze what we got here. 20 minutes, man. And in the description, I'm going to say, because this is just a powerful air fryer, I underestimated how powerful this version of the Ninja Foodi is. It's more, way more powerful than the previous ones. I can tell you that as far as air frying by itself. I would say 380 for 24 minutes because it is powerful. Anyway, you first. You got it? All right, let's go in. Mmm. Very good. Spicy, but not overly spicy, which I like. That no salt hit the spot. That no salt with a little bit of salt is perfect. The um, the flouring, the um, the New Orleans seasoning, the flour, perfect. It is perfect. Mm. Take one more bite. Mm. It's like the perfect combination, guys. Let's check out the thigh. And you feel a little burn at the end. This seasoning. KFC style, y'all. You first. You got it? Alright. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Take one more bite. That's so good. Well, this was fun, guys. Definitely try this combination. And again, you don't have to use the no salt. Just for me, the regular Tony's, you know, if I put all that seasoning on there to get it, that coloring, I felt it would have been, it would have tasted too salty for me. So I just added a little salt to this, let it marinate for four hours, but you could do 30 minutes, whatever have you, and then coat it with this, with an egg wash. You don't have to do an egg wash either. It just makes it a little crunchier. And it's just perfect, guys. So definitely try it out. And I'll leave a link in the description to this uh, 2021 8 Quart Ninja Foodi XL. It does so many other things in air fryer. Pressure cooks. It sous vides, it uh, sears and sautés, 
It uh, what else does it do? It steams. I mean, just so, just look at it for yourself. If you were ever looking for an all-in-one device for 2021, this would have to be it. I don't, I don't even want to tell you anymore. I want you to look and 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 look for yourself because I may forget something. But that's all I got, guys. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Dub. I'm out.